Hi, I'm Lynn Finch with another weekly episode of the No Cash Allowance. Financial literacy classes are not going to prepare your teens to manage money responsibly as adults. Such classes are not available in all states and may not even be required for graduation. And in my opinion, the financial literacy class, the knowledge, is a little late in the game in teaching kids how to manage their money. Instead of aiming for financial literacy, I encourage parents to help their kids achieve financial competency, which includes knowledge from financial literacy classes, but it also includes learning money habits with the opportunity for practice while developing good behaviors and habits that can help an individual make informed decisions regarding money. Now the skills and behaviors isn't going to happen in the classroom. It's going to happen at home, in your home. Schools only provide knowledge, but they can't provide the skills and the practice, mainly because they can't provide the money, the tool the kids need to use to learn how to manage money. Let's compare it to driver's education. Teens have to pass a classroom exam, knowledge, to get a permit to practice driving skill and then drivers develop habits and behaviors, such as speeding, not signaling, using mobile devices, or not being insured. These are bad habits that can affect their whole driving experience. Likewise, with money, bad money behaviors can lead to a lifetime of financial struggles. Kids develop financial habits before they even start school years before sitting in a high school financial literacy classroom. Researchers at the University of Wisconsin-Madison report that by age three, most kids are able to understand the basic concepts of value and exchange that are central to economics. Warren Buffett tells us, sometimes parents wait until their kids are in their teens before they start talking about managing money when they could be starting when their kids are in preschool. Financial literacy classes provide knowledge, mostly in the form of facts and figures, math and statistics, that very young kids couldn't be expected to comprehend. Your child does not need to know about investing, compound interest, saving credit loans, or saving for retirement to decide what toy to buy. Financial literacy is only one piece of a much bigger entity that is part psychology, part life, and part money. As the author of a book teaching kids to manage money as a number, I believe financial education in schools is missing the mark for several reasons. It's too late. Kids can manage their money before they start school, and I recommend it. They have no skin in the game. Talking about money in a classroom is not the same about ta as talking about money in your own account. Teens are more interested in what to do on the weekend than learning about planning for retirement. They can be easily forgotten. Studies show that something that was learned a while ago may not be remembered when you need it. In fact, a young adult cannot invest if the bills aren't getting paid on time, late fees are being charged, and credit card interests are increasing the balance too. Financial literacy classes, like many knowledge classes, use passive terms. Describe, critique, recognize, research. Kids don't need to use those words to manage their allowance. They can look at the numbers. They don't need any research. I think financial literacy classes are overemphasized as a solution, and the results in our nation are not encouraging. With the recent passage of a Louisiana law requiring financial literacy course for high school graduation, only 22 states have similar requirements on the books as of June 2023. That's not even half of our states. Given that not all states require classes, it's even more disappointing to find 53% of those students in a T. Rowe Price survey report, despite taking a financial literacy course, 
I don't feel prepared for the financial responsibility that comes with adulthood. So what's missing in financial literacy classes? The missing parts can be provided by you, the parents. It's skills, practice, and developing behavior and habits. Schools can't provide the money. Only parents can do that. Without money, kids can't practice learning money skills. The No Cash Allowance is a guidebook for parents to help their kids learn to manage money as a number by practicing money management from an early age. Understanding what financial literacy is and is not is a subject worth more than one video. This is the first of a three-part series. Check back weekly to read the rest, to hear the rest of it. The next one would be how to help your kids develop money skills to last a lifetime. And then part three, how to help your kids develop financial competency as they review their money behavior. When I asked my teenage grandson what he learned in his financial literacy class, he said, oh, they talked a lot about credit cards. Financial literacy classes are the knowledge part, but by the time kids are in the classroom, they developed behaviors that can make their adult financial life difficult. As parents, you can provide the skill and practice to help them develop better money habits for their future. Give your kids money with responsibility and the control to manage it all by themselves. Click on the link below to read the complete blog. Thanks for listening.